Hello guys and welcome back to Earl Sports Bets. I'm Timothy Earl and today I'm going to be breaking down the seven game NBA slate for March 12th. Uh, before we go over this slate, we're going to go ahead and jump at yesterday. I hope you guys followed our picks yesterday. We went 5-0-1. Only the Heat were the ones that ruined our perfect record by winning by eight exactly. Uh, we got wins from the Raptors. Well, they covered. Uh, Clippers, 76ers, Suns, and Kings. So, an undefeated day yesterday. Hopefully we can go ahead and continue the streak today. Uh, 193, 169, and 3 this year. So, starting to go back up in the right direction. Uh, and hopefully we can finish out the second half of the year even better than the first half. Well, let's go ahead and jump into it. Uh, before that, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We're trying to hit uh, 500 subscribers by the end of the month, which we are way on track for. Uh, we're at 479 subscribers, so only 21 away at the time of the recording of being able to hit that 500 subscriber milestone. Uh, we appreciate all the support that you guys are giving us. Um, and uh, further, without further ado, Let's go ahead and jump into the slate. We get to start off with the Cleveland Cla Cleveland Cavaliers. Wow, I cannot speak today. Against the New Orleans Pelicans. Minus 300 for the Pelicans. Plus 250 for the Cavs. Uh, Andre Drummond is out. Kevin Loving and Darius Garland are questionable. Other than that, everybody else is in and good. Uh, seven point spread on this one, over under of 229. Uh, you know, whenever we see New, or New Orleans in the uh, mix, I always go over. Uh, don't matter who they're playing. Normally, they're New Orleans is a very very high scoring team, and they're going to go over mo most of the time. Uh, and then in terms of betting this game, we're not go we're not going to. Uh, we have the. Pelicans win in this game by 8.6, uh, so if anything, we would take them minus 7, but it only creates a 1.6 value. We're going to be giving out four plays today, uh, which the lowest one's going to be a 3.4 value, so this one's just going to be one of the bottom three that we're not going to be interested in. And uh, we're just, we, have the four, we have four other games tonight that we're going to be betting on officially. Next up, we get the Philadelphia 76ers, who... Pulled off a very, very nice win last night. Uh, I think it was Tony Bradley, the one that just went off with Joel Embiid's approval. So that was pretty cool to see last night. Uh, cash that ticket. But uh, looking at it tonight, Joel Embiid is still questionable. Ben Simmons is out. Bradley Beal is questionable. Thomas Bryant, Ish Smith are both out. Other than that, all the other starters should be good to go. Minus 177 for the Sixers, plus 157 for the Wizards. Four and a half points spread on this one. Over under 234. Oh, that one just switched. Uh, and I'm going under on this one just because um, uh, now if Joel Embiid is in, I would want to switch my thing to over. But because Joel Embiid is out, Bradley, uh, Joel Embiid is questionable, Simmons is out, and Beal is questionable, that's a lot of scoring. And uh, if the two that are questionable go out. I definitely like the under. If both of them are in, then I'll, I'll end up leaning towards the over. But for right now, I'm going to count them as being out. Uh, and I'm going under for this one. In terms of betting this one, uh, we do like the Philadelphia 76ers minus 4.5 in this game. Originally when it started, uh, they were minus 4. Now they're minus 4.5. Still, we have them winning by uh, 7.9 points. Creates 3.5. Uh, four points of value, so there's going to be two best now at 3.4 points of value. Uh, this is going to be one of them, so it's going to be one of our official bets, though. Uh, so we are going to be going 76ers minus four and a half tonight against the Washington Wizards. Next up, we get the Denver Nuggets taken on the Minnesota, uh, Minnesota. Wow, Memphis Grizzlies minus 150, well, minus 145 for the Nuggets, plus 125 for the Grizzlies. Three points spread on this one, 227 and a half over under. And I'm actually going under on this one. Uh, uh, both teams have been just trending under lately. 
Uh, and it, it, I'm just going to stick to that trend. Um, and then in terms of betting, we do like the Denver Nuggets to win this game by 8.2 points, uh, which uh, will create a 5.2 points of value, second best value on the slate. Um, so we are going to be grabbing the Denver Nuggets tonight against the Memphis Grizzlies. Four games left. Next up, we get the Orlando... Ma oh, wait, shoot, I didn't go over injuries for the Denver game. It's because it's Jaron Jackson Jr. is out. A green and Millsap are questionable. Gary Harris is out. So that's that's injury for that one. Sorry, I totally skipped over it. But uh, those are those. Uh, and we still like the Denver Nuggets minus three. Next up, we get the Orlando Magic taking on the San Antonio Spurs. Minus 260 for the Spurs, plus 220 for the Magic. Six and a half point spread, over under of 215. And uh, DeMar DeRozan is out. Uh, Terrence Ross and Evan Fournier are questionable. DeMarcus Outridge, uh, LaMarcus Outridge is out. Cole Anthony is questionable. Even with all those injuries, 215 is a very, very low score. So I do think that they can go over on that one. Um, in, term, uh, in terms of betting this one, uh, we're, this one's going to be another one that we're just not interested in. We have the San Antonio Spurs winning this game by 9 points, which would create 2.5 points of value on the Spurs side. It's going to be one of the bottom three plays of the day and just one that we're not interested in betting. So we're just going to go ahead and skip over this one and move on to the next game. Uh, which the next thing is going to be the Miami Heat taking on the Chicago Bulls. Uh, Miami won last night by 8 points, but Bam Adebayo is out for them. Uh, other than that, for injuries, everybody else is good. So uh, Miami is going to be missing a big component. Uh, Chicago is going to have everybody. And uh, minus 133 for the Heat, plus 113 for the Bulls. Two point spread on this one. Over under. 219 and a half. We're actually going to grab the under. Both these teams are very, very low scoring teams. So <clears throat> I don't see this one going over, especially with the Miami Heat on a back to back. Uh, and then because of this, I we do like the Chicago Bulls to win this game. We have them winning by 1.4 points. Creates the 3.4 points of value on this one. So we do like the Chicago Bulls in today's game against the Miami Heat. Um, we just think that Bam Adebayo is going to, not having him is going to hurt the Heat too much. Uh, and the Bulls are going to be able to sneak away a win. Next up, we get what I think is the biggest spread I've seen in the NBA this year. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. 17-point spread for the Jazz and the Rockets. To the point where there's not even a money line for this one. The money line, I would guess it was like minus 1,500, minus 2,000 or something for the Jazz. Because I've never seen a minus 17 for uh, for NBA this year. So, a little bit. I mean, it makes sense. It does make sense. Um, over under, we're going to go on, uh, under for this one. Houston can't shoot, and Utah will do enough to win the game. But uh, in terms of betting this one, oh, sorry. Christian Wood is out. John Wall is questionable. Uh, Eric Gordon is questionable. House is questionable. So, that would say a lot. Um, in terms of betting this one, we're not. We have the Utah Jazz winning by 18 points. So taking that minus 17 would end up creating a one-point value. I'm not interested in betting this one at all. The line is just way too far. It's just not good. Not a good one to bet. So we're going to go ahead and skip this one. And we're going to go move on to the last game of the day, which is going to be our best bet of the day. We get the Los Angeles Lakers taking on the Indiana Pacers. Uh, Anthony Davis is out. Karis LeVert is out still. TJ Warren is out still. Kuzma is questionable. LeBron James <coughs> is questionable. So, looking over this one, uh, minus 195 for the Lakers, plus 170 for the Pacers. And this one, the, uh, four and a half point spread over under 216 and a half. A grabbing the over, especially with LeBron. If we're going to count LeBron as being in today, uh, according to his news, he is probable. So we're going to, I'm going to say that he's in today. 
uh, which, if that stays, we do like the Lakers to win this game and win it by 11 points, creating 6.5 points of value on the Lakers side. If he is out, we'll probably go and lean more towards the Pacers side and we'll probably lean towards the under. Uh, but obviously, just keep the uh, LeBron James news in mind. We're counting it as he's going to be in today. So we're taking the Lakers minus four and a half. If he is out, I'm leading Pacers. But for now, we're going for the Los Angeles Lakers tonight. But that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure to like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Let me know if you guys tailed our bets last night and made some money with us. Um, you, uh, all of our socials will be in the description below along with Picks and Parlay's YouTube channel, which me and my brother are going to be on two to three times a week. Uh, I was supposed to be on last night. Uh, she lost power in our house. We rescheduled to tonight, so we're gonna. I'm going to be on Picks and Parlay's tonight, so uh, 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time to break down some over-unders for NBA. Uh, so keep that in mind as well. And then, uh, I guess that's the end of the video.